What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have really anything to discuss regarding WWE action figures unless we're talking about the pick fed. I will get into the pick fed for a little bit to update you guys on that situation, but we're getting on here to celebrate and talk about the arrival of me and Victoria's beautiful, amazing, incredible, wonderful son, Josiah Trayton White, that made his way onto the earth on Saturday night. It was late Saturday night. It was like 1140 ish or so he finally came in guys his birth date is officially february 22nd 2020 very cool birth date if you look at it it goes 022220 for his birthday i think that's pretty excellent me and victoria wanted to make sure we got that because i i feel like if it would have got to 23 the ocd and me would have been like oh come on brad but you know what it it all worked out perfectly and he is amazing and he's healthy and victoria is healthy and they're doing so fantastic and uh, it is just such a wonderful blessing he is amazing already, and I just cannot wait to finally bring him home. We are still staying at the hospital, trying to get the last bit of recovery in there and, you know, get everything well rested and everything before we finally bring him home, but uh, it is just such a wonderful thing. Obviously, you guys know that I did not post yesterday on Sunday because I was resting and taking care of Victoria, taking care of Josiah, and just, you know, making sure to get that family time in and spend time with them and not have to worry about the channel or anything like that. I know you guys know that. I was just letting you guys know if you were wondering why I didn't post yesterday. I'm sure you probably already knew that based off of my Instagram or whatever. If you guys didn't see that I already posted up Josiah, well, he is on there if you want to go check out that post or whatever, but he will be plugged here in the video, but we're just overwhelmed with joy, overwhelmed, just such a such a beautiful blessing of our family, and uh, his name is Josiah Trayton White. We went with Josiah because it's really me and Victoria really love that name, and we wanted to keep his initials JTW because me and my brother are JTW, like our initials are, so we wanted to keep that trend going with any boys in our family we're going to keep the JTW we don't know about the girls just yet but we did want to continue that trend with the JTW so hopefully when you know he has his son and so on and so forth they carry out that JTW tradition and then his middle name is Trayton obviously the Trey is from my name so it's sort of you know a, a play on my name there plugging that into his middle name and then we added on to it there and then obviously the last name's the same because he is our son which that's how you know that's how babies work and that's how children work. You name them after your last name because you don't just make up one. So there you go with that. And, um, you know, everybody, it's funny because we named him Josiah. It's not Josiah. Everybody wants to say Josiah, 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 but it's not Josiah. It's Josiah. So it's kind of like uh, I don't really have a, a, a real ex explanation or sort of example for it, but instead of Josiah, it's Josiah. And it's funny because we nicknamed him Jojo. So we call him Jojo because it's spelled like Josiah, but we pronounce it Josiah. So it's like a whole thing. So I guess his nickname should be Jaja. But that's that. I don't like that, Brad. It's going to be JoJo, and then it's going to be Josiah. So I will never refer to him as Josiah because I don't. That's not his name. It's Josiah. So just wanted to clear that up for everybody there. Um, but anyways, guys, getting into it. You know, he came into the world. He he was magnificent, and uh, it was just such a, a a crazy day. It was a roller coaster of a day bringing him in on Saturday. You know, we went in very early Saturday morning. Um, you know, we got some reveals on Saturday morning, so I did have time. You know, the labor is a very long process. Process, a very you know strenuous process from beginning to end. We went in at like 5 a.m. We didn't leave the, uh, and we're still at the hospital now. But you know the the whole delivery process was not even completed until like after midnight. So it was literally almost a 24-hour experience from the time we arrived. And then so I did have time to post up that video on the AEW figure. So we we talked about those on Saturday. Um, I uploaded about all of the epic reveals, just epic freaking stuff coming out of there from Wicked Cool Toys, man. I think they, they are slaying it over there at Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares coming together for those figures. So I'm super excited for that line. I know you guys saw that on Saturday. And so uh, Saturday night, Josiah was born. So I took off Sunday, and I'm back here to post this video up to you guys, just kind of update you on what's going forward. And then uh, you guys know that a few weeks ago, I did post a video talking about the Hell's Gate update where I said, you know, the only thing that would be preventing me from posting Hell's Gate would be the birth of our son Josiah. So I'm going to play that footage now from that video so you guys know what I said in that video regarding Hell's Gate. I am, I'm going to get that hoe out. I, I'm calling it right here. I'm claiming it. February 29th, 2020, MDT Hell's Gate will be up. You guys can enjoy that. Go ahead and mark it again. It's going to be like a takeover, I guess, or a, yeah, like a Saturday night pay-per-view of wrestling. You guys can sit down, get your popcorn ready, 
freaking be ready for that premiere. We're going to go live, and you guys can re react to the show, chat, whatever the hell, and you know, leave your reviews and, and give all that stuff once you watch the show there. But I, that is it. That is the date right there. But uh, my son will be here literally any day now. And um, literally, uh, I guess, barring him you know, coming earlier than he's supposed to. He's supposed to come at the end of February. The very end of February or the very beginning of March is what he's, when he's supposed to come. Barring him not coming the next 16 days, then the show will be up. That's the, that's the only thing that I can say would probably not get the show up by February 29th is if uh, our son is born. If our son is born, then you guys can forget the show for as l ever long as it takes. But um, yeah, I guess it'll be up the next, the fo like five days after the 29th or whatever the hell. But I'm shooting for Saturday the 29th, and I will keep you guys updated for my son and everything like that. But so you guys can see right there, I did say you know the only thing that would prevent the show from being up on the 29th would be the birth of our son because it literally is going to be um, from the time he's born on the 22nd until like four or five days. It's going to be recovery. It's going to be taking care of him. It's going to be very you know uh, very detail driven and you know making sure he's good, making sure Victoria's good, and making sure we're all good and settled at home before resuming filming because obviously I don't give a damn about some pick fed show when it comes to my family, Victoria and Josiah are my first number one priority. So I'm going to put them at the front of it all and the show can definitely wait. It will not be that much longer, obviously. It's only going to take six to, to ten days after the uh, official release date. So the official release date was the 29th, right? So I'm, I'm thinking maybe ten days after that the show should be up. It shouldn't be any longer than that. So you guys have something to look forward to, but again, I did not, I do not care about that. That's not my first priority and I, I, I'm sure you guys understand that and everything like that. Obviously, we want to get the show out as fast as possible, but uh, the show can kiss my ass as far as I'm concerned when we're talking about uh, Josiah and Victoria making sure they're all good. So um, that is that. You guys will definitely get the show as soon as possible again, but uh, videos are going to come back going up tomorrow. We're going to you know, kick things off back at it. We got a freaking WWE Saudi show this week. If anybody you know, getting excited for that, there's a couple matches there that I'm kind of looking forward to. We're going to have predictions going up. We got some things revolving around that show coming up, but I did want to get up to you guys, talk about Josiah and everything like that how freaking overwhelmed with joy we are like i'm i'm freaking ecstatic i just you freaking you know they go back to the nursery at the hospital you immediately miss them but you got to get that important rest especially for victoria and you trying to you know rest up and get situated and just do your best even though you got nurses coming in every five seconds checking your vitals and freaking getting in your freaking just slapping your titties around so you know you do your very best but we're just overwhelmed with joy is a is a freaking understatement how excited we are how happy we are, how just amazing he is, how amazing Victoria is, and then uh, my wife is a freaking superhero. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it, just the way she persevered through all that the freaking doctors put her through. I think the staff was outstanding, though, I will say. You know, they, they had to do their job, but, you know, they were outstanding. I thought that everybody that, you know, delivered Josiah, everybody from the nurses we had when we first got there until today, I think every single nurse, every doctor, and the doctor that delivered him, the doctors that have been in and out to see him to give us, you know, tips and advice and everything, they have been fantastic. I thought the staff and all the nurses were fantastic. And so, um, but I wanted to say that I am married to the most badass woman on the planet. I'll say it a hundred times over. I think she freaking just, she she did way far and above anything she had to do. And she persevered through everything, just the most determined, inspirational amazing beautiful woman in the entire world is my wife and I am just super proud of her super proud of Josiah I thought they they they, they were just fantastic throughout every single thing they never just stopped fighting they were they're just beast mode man they're true beast mode and we're just all beast mode over here at MDT so I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them and just I, I just love them so freaking much and uh, I'm I'm overwhelmed with just blessings and happiness and I'm ready to, you know, I cannot wait to raise him up and, uh, you know, put him here on the channel for you guys and, and everything like that. And I'm sure that, you know, he's definitely going to be one of the most spoiled children in the entire world, considering all the grandparents and all the people that want to shower him with love and gifts and freaking kisses and just all kinds of stuff. But we're very, very blessed individuals, and we're just so happy at this moment. At this moment, And uh, I'm just overwhelmed, guys. But I did want to update you about Hell's Gate. I wanted to let you guys know about all that. I did want to come on here and just talk about him for a little bit, let you guys know what was up, why I didn't post yesterday. I'm sure a lot of you already knew that, but I did want to get on here because I have, you know, I have a YouTube audience. 
I have an Instagram audience, I have people that follow me on social media and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's video. Again, I just want to get on here and talk about Josiah. Get everything figured out, plug you guys in, let you guys guys know what was in the loop. And again, once we get back home, I think we're supposed to go home in the next couple days or so. So as soon as we get home, I will be, you know, making sure he's good, make sure, you know, all his beds and everything are set up straight, make sure the house is all ready to go and, and contain for him to live in a safe and, you know, comfortable environment for him. Probably going to start up him an awesome figure collection. Obviously, my figure collection is pretty much his figure collection. He's going to be playing with all kinds of freaking WWE figures and toys and play sets and all kinds of stuff. And I guess we can, um, maybe in our review segment, like when he gets a little bit older, we can have like a review segment with him where we just toss him the figure, see what his, you know, his ideas are and what he thinks of figures. think that'd be pretty cool as long as YouTube doesn't say, why is there a child in your video and then strikes us down hard? I don't know. Hopefully that's not the case. I don't think anybody's really had any problems with that thus far, but I guess we'll have to play that by ear. But I thought that'd be pretty cool to work him into the channel as much as we can, you know, without getting in the, you know, hurting the, the terms of service with YouTube and all their bullshit rules sometimes. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Um, again, video's coming back tomorrow. We got the Saudi show coming up for WWE. We got uh, some epic reveals at Toy Fair. I thought that was fantastic. If you guys missed any of that stuff, definitely go check it out. I thought it was pretty epic sauce. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter at my damn toys. Oh my god, man! I have a freaking son. My damn son or my damn kid, whatever, whatever we want to call him here. We got JoJo in the house. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support and all the congratulation text and comments and feedback, guys. I appreciate it so very much. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.